Okay, you guys saw me wrap my niece's present, but you know, since my sister is a single mom, I went and I bought like party supplies. Like I already bought, um, the theme is bluey and I already bought some like bluey party supplies, like a banner and some bluey balloons. And then there's some bluey plates and like napkins and stuff, but that's kind of like expensive. And um, I feel like that should be re like reserved for the children at the party. So for the adults, I bought us plain plates, you know, bluey and bingo. That's what I decided. And I bought some matching napkins. And then I just bought some more balloons to blow up because I figured we could um, tape some to the tables and like to my mom's mailbox and stuff at our mom's house to like, you know, a little celebratory. And I bought some sparkly ribbons for it. And I thought that was like pretty sufficient. But yeah, I got her present all wrapped up, really excited for it. So got all that settled. As for um, reading, Monday I did make um, some decent progress into Order of the Phoenix. I read... I think like 70 pages Monday, so um, I'm like 166 pages in now. I'm gonna continue that tonight. It is Wednesday, and then Tuesday I picked up the Christmas countdown, which I got from NetGalley. It comes out on the 22nd and it archives on the 22nd, so I would like to get it done before then. So I'm reading it now. I know it's October and it's spooky season, but like I need to get this Christmas book done, okay? Um, and I'm enjoying it, I'm like 11% in. And then I didn't read last night. Um, my sister had her county league championship title game. So, and it was against two of our cousins. So um, it was a real nail biter, JV, 24 to 25 for the third set. Cause each side, each team won a set. And then for varsity, since they played a five set, each side won two sets and the end was 13 to 15 because in the fifth set they only played a 15 and my sister's school won both so really exciting there but like all of the loud noise because it was such a nail butter people were like screaming it caused such a migraine and i thought i could like sleep it off except for i woke up this morning and still felt like utter crap so <laughs> i took probably more painkillers than i should have and chugged an alani and i'm feeling okay now but because i was gone like all day yesterday with work and then the game i have a lot of like of adult things i need to do like i need to take care of that basket of laundry back there i need to clean the bathroom which i usually do on tuesdays i need to clean shelby's little box which i usually do on tuesdays and then i need to do my normal wednesday cleaning which the wednesday cleaning usually doesn't take too long because it's literally just like sweeping and mopping the floor real quick but i have a lot i feel like i just have like so much to get done here but um, after I get that done, I will probably pick up the neck alley book while I eat dinner. And then I'll pick this one up for a while because I like really just want to get, you know, a good chunk of this one done. So that's kind of the plan for now. Are you, are you opening the box for me? Are you opening the chewy package? Honey, I really hate to break it to you. But this is a order for your sister. This is cat litter and cat food. I mean, Eleanor, this, this is cat food. That's your sister's cat food. Yeah, this is, this is for your sister. And, and this is also for, see, look, there's your sister. This this is for your sister. It's it's cat food. It's just cat food. We didn't need any more puppy food right now. You have food. You get you get fresh pet every week. I'll show you Eleanor, but this is cat litter. See? Cat litter. It's it's cat litter. It's not it's not any the, yeah, you didn't get anything. We have your food. We already have Eleanor food. <laughs> you can't be mad at her for that. It's late on Friday night. It's like technically Saturday at this point and um that thing right there is waiting for me to go to bed so that she can do do the Shelby things that um she's not allowed to do, but she knows she can get away with because I'm asleep. 
So, yeah, she's anxiously waiting for me to go to bed, as evident by the mess she was causing at the end of my sprints. Wednesday. I I did do a little bit of reading Wednesday afterwards. Not, like, a ton, a ton, but I did I did get some. I, I read a little bit of um, The Christmas Countdown, and I got to 11% in that one. So not super far, but, you know, I made some decent progress in it. And I mean, yeah, I know it's a Christmas book, but it's like my Net Galley read for the month that it comes out on the 22nd. And I like to get my reviews up before the books come out. So that's why I'm reading it now. Otherwise, it, it's not really too, too Christmassy, honestly. Like, it's happening in December is more so what I would say it's, it's happening. Um, I'm really enjoying it, though. At this current moment, I'm actually like 28% in because I did read some more of it on Thursday. And I, I'm really vibing with it. I really like the um main characters and i'm kind of sensing we're gonna see maybe things blow up with her ex like i hope it does because he seems like a jerk and she seems to be realizing that he's a jerk when she's interacting with him like post breakup and like to the girl he's now proposed to and whatnot and then i also picked up where are all my books guys don't do that alexis you will not get everything over um, I end up picking up City of Fallen Angels. I think this is the shortest one in the Moral Instruments series. At least it looks like this is the shortest, just based on um, how thin it is. And I am now at 28% after Friday night reading. Um, I just got the chapter 6. They are quite lengthy chapters. And um, we had a character that was introduced. And I honestly couldn't remember who the hell he was at first until he said something and i was like oh my god i know who this is now i'm really enjoying my reread it's going nice and quick i think overall i've been reading for a little over an hour in it and we're like 122 pages in so i'm kind of hoping to make a decent dent in this this weekend i think i don't think this is the book i'm going to bring with me on um tomorrow saturday well i guess today at this point saturday to my mom's house i think i'm going to bring order of the phoenix to my mom's to read when we're not doing stuff for the party and whatnot so this might be my Sunday book, so kind of up in the air yet at this point, you know? And then, you know, I did also go ahead and pick up Order of the Phoenix. We made a little bit more progress into it, quite a bit more than I was before. We are like 250-ish pages in now, and we've just met the lovely Dolores. So, you know, it's going fantastic. It's just highlighted the day. Um, really enjoying my reread, although we don't know how much for bitch she is i'm sorry but like we all know we it just has to be said but yeah i think i'm gonna bring make this my book for um a saturday and i'm gonna bring this one to my mom's to read just because i think i can bang out like a good chunk if i just sit down and read it i mean even just like the past two days i've read just for like a little bit like maybe an hour hour and a half and i really like more than doubled where i was before and then i was reading Happiness and Memoir by Heather Harpam and it got taken away from me on Monday when I was at work and I said like 33% left of the book and I was really starting to really get into it but like you know I just I didn't have time with Libby and it took it away from me but um I replaced a hold on it and it said like seven weeks and I was like okay like I'll, I'll remember what's happening in the book in seven weeks especially because I don't read too too much nonfiction. but I actually got it back tonight and so I was gonna pick up the Christmas countdown and read it but since I got happiness back i decided let's pick up happiness and see if i can bang that out and i think i can get it finished um later here today on saturday like after i, I go to bed and stuff because i've been up since 6 a.m friday and it's getting like we're we're at the part where i'm going to talk about this in another vlog more but it's um long story short it's a book about a mother the author who has a child with a rare blood disorder and they need they do a transplant, a bone marrow transplant to um, cure their daughter. And it's kind of about that. We just got to the part where they did the transplant and we're a few days, like a week or so post transplant. So her daughter's still in the hospital, but we're going through all of that right now. And it's, it's getting quite medical, but I, I am enjoying that aspect of it because you know what I do with my life, but it's getting really, really like intense. And I can see where it's going to start looking up hopefully soon. It has been really sad and like has made me want to cry at several points. So there's that. Um, yeah, otherwise, um, I think, yeah, you know, tomorrow is going to be more of like happiness reading and then Order of the Phoenix and hopefully maybe finishing Gwendy's Magic Feather 
that I started last weekend on Saturday. Like, it's a five-hour audiobook. Um, I've listened to half of it, so I'm kind of hoping, like, on the way to my, my mom's, um, in a few hours, I guess, after I go to bed and whatnot, like, eight, nine hours here, um, I'm hoping that I can get it finished. I do gotta stop in the morning and get, um, my grocery order, and then, like, I am the one who ordered the ice cream for my niece's party, so I do gotta stop and get the ice cream order, because, like, we need ice cream. Good morning. It's, um, Sunday, but I thought we should probably wrap up the week's vlog. Um, Saturday, what did we do? Um, well, I guess, what did I do? I, I updated you guys Friday night. So, Saturday, I did end up finishing Happiness, um, five stars. It kind of took me pretty much all day to finish it, but, yeah, five stars. Definitely gonna make a top of the year book here, for sure. Completely heartbreaking, but also you can see where the happiness is in it, so super happy with that one like it was so good but like i said though it can hit hard because it is i mean it is about a kid who needs a uh bone marrow transplant so kind of hard hitting there but then i got a notification from Libby that they're gonna take away another book for me so i i, I picked up that um i don't i don't know if i'm into it i'm a little bit into it i i read some of it while i was dying my hair last night um it is the midwest survival guide by charlie Warrens. and if you guys don't know who charlie is charlie is a comedian and his whole <laughs> comedic act centers around living in the Midwest. Where do I live? In the Midwest. And so it's just like he's compiling stuff to explain to other parts of the U.S. and to the world why the Midwest is the way it is. And basically, he's basically describing it as the Midwest U.S. is basically like, the politeness is like Canadian kindness, how you say it, like all the Canadians are nice. That's pretty much what it is in the Midwest. He's like hitting points. He's like, there was a, he had a little quiz at the beginning of the book, and I was like, ranch goes best on what? Salad, pizza, or yes? The answer is yes. We put ranch on everything. Yes, ranch is basically a beverage here. So, <laughs> it just, it just was one of those things. He had a quite another question, like, which of these is a, a real superhero, like a, a superhero? And it listed a bunch of different names. And I think anyone outside of here would be like, what the hell are those names? One of them is a superhero, like a character, like a superhero, actually. The other four are cities here in the Midwest. So, <laughs> it's really, I'm only a little bit into it, but it's like been really entertaining so far. Um, but most of yesterday was consumed with last minute party preparations for my niece's birthday today so we went and we got most of everything the only thing we didn't get was the fruit tray the meat and cheese tray and the cupcakes and her smash cake so that's kind of on the agenda this morning and then i gotta blow up all the balloons this morning because we did get a helium pink yesterday so that's what i'm doing i'm going to go stop and get some breakfast because we're having an early lunch with her party so i'm gonna get something to eat and then we are gonna blow up 50 million balloons for her but thought I'd end this vlog and also before we go, let me share a little sunshine with you guys. Look at Miss Sunshine. She coming to the party. She's in her sunshine outfit. Cause it's a little chilly this morning, huh Al? It's a little chilly outside. So we have to we have to get in our jammies. Oh your leg is coming out of your jammies. Put your leg all the way through your jammies, girlfriend. You gotta keep your legs out. So, yes, Eleanor is wearing her little outfit. Kyra likes when Eleanor wears outfits. Like, yesterday, I watched her for a little bit and loved her pink sweater. She had a pink one on yesterday. Today, I brought her purple one. I brought her purple Halloween one for today after she changes out of her jammies. But we'll see here. 